assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so topic here we will discuss today it is the comparison of the layers of iron oxide and the layer of the aluminum oxide as when these two metals come in contact with the oxygen they are making their oxides as when the iron come in contact with the oxygen it forms its oxide as fe2o3 on the other hand when we have aluminum and it come in contact with the oxygen it makes the oxide as al2o3 which is called as aluminum oxide so this is the property of the aluminum and iron that they can make their oxides easily but as these are both oxides of metals but they have the comparison or the difference between them according to their structure and according to their durability here you can see that this is the surface of the aluminum metal and when it come in contact with the oxygen this is the layer of aluminum oxide that is formed over its surface now as this layer formed now if we are going to attack that with any type of the solute or with the water so they will have no effect on this surface because the aluminum oxide layer that is formed it is very tough layer on the other hand in the b picture we have this is the surface of the iron and when it come in contact with the oxygen it makes the layer of the iron oxide as fe2o3 dot xh2o because a number of water molecules may vary that may come in contact with the iron so it forms a layer of this but this layer as it is too much porous layer so the solute and the water may attack the underlying surface of the iron and in this way whole of the iron may be eaten away by this chemical reaction or it may be crudded so both these layers and their formation is different because the one is durable and the other is not durable so let's have a look on the first layer on in detail so here we have the layer of the iron oxide basically the process in which the iron reacts with the oxygen here the addition of oxygen in the presence of water molecule so it forms a layer which is fe2o3 dot h2o so here this is the oxygen present in the air this is the iron nail and this is the water molecule when they react then the rusting of the nail just started so this process is basically known as the rust formation or the rusting formation and the formula for the rust here i'm going to write it again fe2o3 dot x h2o this is the formula of rust formation now the iron as it reacts with the oxygen this process is called oxidation and the oxygen add it reacts with the water and they are both are making up iron oxide so this reaction is basically a redox type reaction and the layer of iron that is formed over its surface you, here you can see that this is very a soft layer or a very porous layer it do not st stuck to the metal surface in turn it will flakes away from the surface and then exposes the underlying surface for the further rusting process in this way the metal or the iron when it get rusted by the formation of the iron oxide it started to be destroyed in this way the metal may become weak and at the end it may be completely wear off or may be eaten away by the surroundings reaction as this is the surrounding reaction that just because of the two prevailing conditions the number one is the moisture that is present in the air along with the oxygen that is present in the air both are present in the air or it may also happen in the direct contact of the metal with the water because already the oxygen is present in the air so it may cause the rust formation over the metal surface in this way the metal may be destroyed at the end so this is a simple rusting of the iron then we have the layer of aluminum oxide so when aluminum get reacts with the oxygen it makes the layer which is as aluminum oxide al2 O3 as this is the surface of aluminum and it makes a layer of oxide over its surface when it may come 
in contact with the oxygen and the moisture present in air after the formation of this layer which is Al2O3 this layer is too much tough layer and it protects the underlying surface from the further corrosion so that's why aluminum is widely used for the production of the many types of the materials in our daily life because aluminum when one time it get crude it forms a protective oxide surface layer over its metal and then it's prevent the underlying surface from further corrosion so this is a tough layer it adhere to metal surface and when it adheres to the metal surface now it prevent the metal surface from further process of the corrosion so aluminum is widely used now let's have a look on what are the main uses of the aluminum here we have aluminum it is basically used in the production of the transportation or the vehicles then it is environmentally friendly it is used in the space and defense production of different materials it is used as a security material where the detectors are being held over the doors of the different shops and hospitals to be as a threat alert it is used in the food packaging it is used in the communication for the making of the chips that are used in the mobile phones it is used in the making of the aeroplanes or aeronautics it is used in the healthcare department for the production of the stethoscope by which we can be able to check the heartbeat on the other hand it is also used in the production of the many products related to the sports and layer like it is used in the making of that material it is also used in the production of the energy products like in the solar cells as well as it is also used in the formation of the different electrical appliances and it is used in the many home automation so aluminum is also used in the making of the windows so this was a simple use of the aluminum that we have it is widely used because its layer that is aluminum oxide when it forms it is a very tough layer and prevents the further corrosion process so this was all about today's lecture i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that in the comment section and the next topic that we will discuss it is the introduction to chemical reactivity of the elements for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day